Well, hey there, welcome to day 2,200, 200, not 999, 2299. That's just a good number, right? Great number. Number of videos, number of times I've hopped on and shared and documented my journey, what I'm working on, what's working, what's not working, the good, the bad, the ugly. And today I created a couple of pieces of content. The first is, of course, the annual challenge. I've been doing annual challenges for seven years now. I thought it was only five, but it's been seven. And that means annual challenges every day online with a group of people because I was doing them offline by myself for a couple of decades. And I'm like, well, I'm learning a lot. I'm moving. I'm growing. I'm creating what I want in my life. Why don't I share that with other people? So apparently seven years ago, I started doing that. And this year's annual challenge is the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, suggested by my friend Chad Hanna. Thank you very much. Who I actually did one of my very first annual challenges with uh, seven years ago in a group of online entrepreneurs or people that were just getting started in the internet and wanted to figure out how to do live video. So every day for that year, we showed up and we did a Facebook Live on whatever topic we wanted to in that group. And it was a really eclectic group, so it was fun. And we got to watch each other's videos and give each other feedback. And so we learned a lot. That really helped me personally to just say, hey, if, if all these people can do it, I can do it too. And I just started doing it. So today we talked about uh, we're focusing on mental growth this month. So that's our annual challenge. We're focusing each month on, we, first month we came up with our own framework for, uh, called the growing process. And then we've done a different area and aspect of the, a nine part life framework area that I use. It was seven until 2021 when I was getting coaching on communication and confidence. And I'm like, if I'm getting coaching on those, why wouldn't I share that information with the people that I talk to every day? So I started doing that. And what I love about that is by adding that, it has positively impacted and supported at a foundational level all the other areas and aspects of the life framework that I was already using. Thank you, Tim. Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn, I just combined their names, Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn for teaching me that in the late 1980s. So I use a seven part framework to kind of organize my chaotic life. Sometimes I did a better job of sticking to it than others. Uh, and that I shared in a story today in the challenge about how we were talking about the law of attraction and thoughts become things. And can we really have an idea or a thought and think about it enough to have it show up and create in our life? And I will say I'm living proof of that because I created my own death experience. I didn't know I was doing it, but I did. And I give myself credit and responsibility for that. And it showed me how powerful the law of attraction really is and that what we think about will come about in ways that we might not even have been able to imagine. For Supersize Your Business today, we talked about sustainable business strategies. I shared 10 different categories where we can look at finding sustainable business practices to add and incorporate into our business. Why would we want to do that? Well, number one, it might match our core values, our core goals, and our objectives for our business, as well as the people that we serve. And if it's important to them and important to us, then we should do it. Sustainability is about longevity and making the world a better place place and creating something that lasts. So I would say, why would we not want to do that? Why would we not want to use data to make decisions for our business? Why would we not want to make the world a better place? I don't know. Some companies don't, but I say we should. And so those are the people that I work with. Uh, that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Busy, busy, busy around here. Uh, spring and spring is always a fun year of growth and planting. So uh, just ask if you need help. Otherwise, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.